Hey guys, Leeway Previs here, and uh, yeah, I'm finally back. Right? Now, over the past week here in Dubbo, we've had a group of um, Buddhist monks come down and make what, what they call a mandala. Now, I haven't done much research on what the mandala actually does, but according to the monks themselves, um, the mandala is kind of the centerpiece of an area of meditation. And yeah, they made one they made one in the in one of the malls here in Dubbo. And yeah, everyone was actually observing and absolutely loving it. I took a little bit of video on from their last day here, which is today, or was today. Um, and they were actually completing it. So I'm gonna share that video with you and kind of talk of explain what's going on. Now, I've actually muted the sound for this because apparently um, everyone was talking and all that type of stuff. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to mute the sound on this as I explain what happens. Okay, so here we are at the Mandala itself. Um, it's still incomplete at this point, and one of the monks is actually working on it at the moment. Um, the other, the second one sitting on the chair, the third, I don't know where he was at the time. Now, I'm just, I've just zoomed in here. You can see that the monk there is using a flat-edged blade um, to clean up the sand um, around the side there, and as you'll see in a moment, um, he'll also use it to clean up the edges of the area he's just done as well. Okay. And there we go. Cleaning up the edges there. Now just watch what he does after he's cleaned up the edges with that same blade. Now you can see he's using the handle on the funnel itself. Alright, now the funnel is actually ridged. So when the sand goes in it actually catches on those ridges. So so in order to get it to come through the nozzle of the funnel, they actually rub the handle of the blade against the ridges. And that helps control the um, flow of sand and makes everything a little bit precise. All right. Now, I'm just going to zoom in here on the centre. There we go. Now, as you can see there, the centre part's actually raised. Um, the monks told me, one of the monks told me that... Um, that centre part's actually made purely out of sand with a little bit of water mixed in to keep it stiff. Right? And I'm tending to believe that. Okay, um, as you can see, if all the works observed by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Right? But that centre part there, I think they said was mixed with a little bit of water just to keep it stiff. Alright, now I've just zoomed in on some of the pedals here. As you can see there, there's two types of pedals. There's the big one, and that's the blue one there. And they're in the four main colours. And then there's the smaller ones with the black centres and the white edges. Now, there's four of the bigger um, pedals there, but the smaller ones, um, according to the monk that I asked, there could be anything up to about 64 of them. Alright? So, as you can tell, they put a lot of effort and work into this. And I actually saw... Um, one of the monks do those pedals, or some of those pedals while I was in there, so, and I can tell you now, there's a lot of work that goes into it, there's about four colours that actually get used. Okay, so, um, Mandela is now almost finished, um, as you'll probably notice here, or maybe not, um, the edge actually uses a different, um, coarseness of sand than the inside does, like the inside within, that's within, well, the blue edge and everything within it, actually uses um, very, very fine sand, while the outside is actually made with very, very coarse sand. Um, and I actually asked one of the monks about where they get the sand from, and they told me that the sand used for the mandala is actually crushed marble, so 
which they which they get from India, um, and it's crushed to two different um, uh, coarseness, two different coarseness. Um, yeah, you know what I mean. Now I've just we're almost at the end. All right, and he's just cleaning it up there. But you can see the seven pots there. Uh, three of them contain water. That's the first two, and the sixth one, which is just off the edge of the video there. Um, one of them contains flowers. That's the third one that you can see. Um, two of them contain uncooked white rice. And the fourth one also contains a cinnamon stick in it. The fifth, a tea light. And the final one contains an apple, which you would have seen a little bit earlier. Alright. So now the monks are about to finish off the final part of the um, mandala edge. Now, when I zoom out on this in a moment, you're actually going to see a little bit of about the um, edge itself, which, as in that outermost edge, um, that I actually picked up on, and that's the fact that all the way around, it, up and up until this area that's in frame here, that it keeps to a fairly set pattern. And it's only when they get to this part here that um, it starts to... that the pattern actually discontinues. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know why that's the case. I think the monks know about it and knew about it when they made it, and it was probably deliberate. Oh yeah, just so you guys know, as well, you probably would have seen earlier that there was um, pencil markings on the board as well. Right, they're finished now. Okay, but there were pencil markings on the board. Um, they used that as a guide to making it. Alright. Okay. So he's just cleaning up there, and that's the complete mandala. Well, almost will be once he cleans up. But yeah, that's that's the mandala itself. Okay. Now I better correct myself there. There's three types of petals in there, not two. Um, as you can see, there's also eight petals on the millmost flower. All right. At this point, guys, I actually turn the camera off. Um, because what came next was the solution ceremony and I, while I'd actually made a choice to turn the camera off at that point because I didn't want to show you the um, mandala being destroyed I actually realized later on that the um, it was actually a requirement they'd actually wanted all the cameras turned off right? and I can understand that one it was a it's a respectable part of the ceremony. Alright, so, yeah, you, did, you didn't get to see um, the mandala itself being destroyed. Additionally, I chose not to actually get any of the sand as well, so, but then given the fact that I live in a flat, um, probably a good idea as well. I mean, I couldn't guarantee that the sand wouldn't spill everywhere and um, be vacuumed, vacuumed up, end up being vacuumed up. So, yeah, um, so yeah, that was the mandala. The, that was made here, here in Dubbo. Um, I actually quite enjoyed watching them do it and asking them about it and just enjoyed it as well. I found it very, yeah, I don't think I can actually describe it. It was marvellous. Um, so if you ever get the chance, um, head down to your local, well, your nearest Buddhist um, monastery, if you can find one. Or, additionally, you could wait until they come to your town and create a mandala of their own while they're down there. Alright? Because it's something you should go and see. Alright? And you should actually go and see them make it. It's wonderful. Alright, so that's the end of this um, This Is Not Event video. Alright, 
I'll see you guys tomorrow for um, must do this week. So until then, I'm Lee Wade Brothers. Nice to see you all back. Bye.